welcome back to History Behind the Games. I'm Eric, the Lone Pine Wolfman, and as you know, I'm going over the history of ancient Greece during the time period of when AC Odyssey will be taking place. You can check out my vids on the general history of Greece and of Athens on my channel. But today, we will talk about Sparta. Almost everyone has heard of their famous stand against the Persians at Thermopylae, oh, yeah. in which 300 Spartans stood against thousands of Persians to buy time for the rest of the Greeks to reform the battlefront and their strategies. They saved democracy in the process and were remembered for their sacrifice ever since. But even though they saved democracy, they were not ones for freedom. Most didn't even want to fight, it being a religious time and the religious Spartans almost never fought when the gods said not to. No. no. But Leonidas knew tactically that the Spartans alone could not stand up to the full Persian army, and didn't want the war coming home to Laconia. What? what? The Orca Adelphi said Sparta would be conquered or a king must die. So he decided to participate and bring 300 bodyguards to help him. But perhaps you did not know that there weren't just 300 Spartans in that last stand. Hundreds of other Greeks also fought. So it just wasn't Sparta. When they were being surrounded and all was lost, that's when Leonidas gave the order for the other Greeks to leave. The Spartans themselves would hold off the Persians. But a thousand Thespians and Thebans stayed to fight with the Spartans as well. Thus, their sacrifice and their note in history. But what made the Spartans, well, Spartan? Um, the name? And what does that mean for you in the game? We see in the game that your character is dropped off a cliff as a baby. When a baby was born in Sparta, the elders inspected it to judge if it was healthy enough to live in Spartan society. If it wasn't, it's debatable if they tossed them off a cliff or just left them exposed to the elements, but either way they killed it. Do you, Do you play, play Fortnite? Fortnite? Yes. <coughs> Spartan society was highly militarized. They trained boys from the age of 7 over the next 13 years to become killing machines and to root out weakness. This boot camp of sorts was called the Agogi. Many boys were starved, bullied, beat up, taught to fight, and learned to survive. And if they didn't, they died. When older, a boy was given to a personal instructor who trained the boy and most likely had sex with him too. What? Whoa, wait, what? what? Yes, I know, it's totally disgusting to us. But the Spartans and others believed that if you were fighting to help protect your lover next to you, you would be all the more fierce. I mean, if you rewatch 300 with the part where Gerard Butler calls the Athenians boy lovers to the Persian messenger, I mean, come on. Once old enough, you had to be accepted into one of the Spartan units, and if nobody wanted you, you couldn't even be a full citizen. Girls went through the same process, although it is unclear from records if they were left to die like the boys were, unless they had some obvious deformity. Mothers also were kind of taught to bully and insult their sons, well, hey, mine does to make their too. boys fear them more than battle. Sparta was not a place for supportive parenting. Unlike other Greek city-states, women in Sparta were trained on an equal level with boys to become strong and athletic, and this was believed to create healthy, strong babies. But for all this militarization, the Spartans found every excuse in the world not to fight. The gods didn't want well, to. No, and, um, the omens were bad. I, I guess. It's the other guy's problem, not ours. Uh, well, who am I to judge? The reason Sparta had this amazing military was really to keep their slaves in check. The Helots, or Helots. Now, slavery was perfectly fine in Greek culture, as long as they weren't Greeks. But the Helots, formerly known as the Messenians, were Greek. So the Spartans got some flack for that, but they did not care. What they did care about was that they had an angry slave population that outnumbered them around 8 to 1. So it was very common for Spartans to murder slaves for little or no reason, just to try to keep them in fear. Things are fine and stable until the Persians invade, and as I mentioned in my last video, the Athenians ask for help and the Spartans tell them to go screw because they're observing a religious ceremonies. Fast forward a number of years to the second Persian invasion, and again the Spartans don't want to go, Leonidas does, being boom, heroic last stand, and you got it. Fast forward again, Oh, uh, you're going a little fast there. And now we're in the game. Your character is Spartan and is referred to as such, but will we be taking the Spartan's side in the game? We can't know for sure yet. But it is clear that you were tossed away as a child, yet somehow survived, and now have the spearhead of Leonidas, the Apple of Eden artifact. And as we've seen from various gameplay shown, we see you kicking Athenian butt all up and down the Aegean. Kinda looks like the map from Witcher 3. One major event in the war stands out. A 400-strong Spartan unit was cut off on the island of Facteria, and the Athenians starved them for almost two months while using them for target practice for their archers. 
Brought to the brink of human desperation, when the Athenians finally do ask for surrender, the 120 Spartans surviving did, shattering the myth of the unbreakable Spartan. No, 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 don't... <sighs> Our character might take part in this, and might even suffer through it, but will we support the militarily tough but state-controlled crazy Sparta? Will they form what is to be the Templar Order? Hell, as I even said before, this might be a Templar origin story of sorts for Assassin's Creed. No doubt our character will get some questions and distaste from the Spartans, due to not having gone through the same training the others had to, and being a reject from birth. After Sparta wins the war, it tries to make all the other Greek city-states like Sparta, which only causes a democracy backlash. The city-state of Thebes figured out that Sparta had a habit of letting its allies fight these strong enemies, while Sparta itself fought the weaker ones. Thebes led a coalition to fight back. This is tough. Um, let me just change the old difficulty here, and uh, there we go. Being former allies, well-trained, and every bit as tough as the Spartans, the Thebans and others eventually crushed the Spartans at Leuctra and Mantinea. Sparta was done. We'll figure out where we stand when the game comes out. But that's it for Sparta. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Eric, the Lone Pine Wolfman, and remember gamers, never stop learning. Check out my next video on the mythology and gods of Greece, and how they might relate to the artifacts of Eden in Assassin's Creed. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.